What if you are given an unformatted document as of 100 pages and you are asked to create the index? It's going to be really, really difficult for you. You may try that, but there are chances for having some mistakes. So, how are you going to do it efficiently? Here is the concept of table of content in Bright. Table of content or TOC in short helps you to quickly create this index. Not this only. Whenever you make changes in your document, those changes are going to be reflected in your table of index. This feature is really going to help you out. Let's see how we can do that. You can see over here that this is totally alphabeted document. Writer is going to create the index. There should be some differentiation like which is your main topic, which is the like chapter wise. So right right now this is the topic. Then we have the this is the name of the lesson maybe. Then under this lesson we have subtopics like this and the second one is this and so on. Right, so this is only for the first chapter. Then we have the second chapter and then under this we have this topic and this topic further is having some subtopics. So how we can come to know like how writers come to know that this these are the different things and they have to be marked. Let me show you the table of content that I have created. This is the one. This is automatically created by writer. But how writer is going to create it? For this, what you have to do is, it's very simple. For example, this is your chapter 1. So, I'll select this and I'll give it a heading 1. Similarly, for my second chapter, I'll give again this as heading 1. The topics, I'll give heading 2. And for subtopics, I'll give heading 3. So, I'm using my Format Mini Brush tool to quickly apply the settings here. I have already completed this. Uh, let's see that. This is heading 3. This is also heading 3. Heading 3, heading 2, then heading 3, heading 2, heading 2, heading 3, and this is also heading 3. This is heading 2, and this is heading 1. So I have given totally 3 headings away heading 1, 2, and 3. On this basis, we can insert the index. So let me make some space because the index is generally at the top or is the very first page whenever you insert the index it is inserted at the cursor location wherever your cursor is so make sure that you bring your cursor at the desired position and then for inserting the index you will go to of course the insert menu there you will get index and tables option further again the same option you have to click on it will automatically generate index for you and you can see that my first chapter digital documentation is second page then my second chapter electronic spreadsheet is my fourth page let's see that whether it is on fourth page or not yes this is the fourth page you can see over here right fourth page i make changes in my content will it be reflected in my index as well yes so what you have to do is, for example, I want to write some over here, something like advanced over here. So will it be reflected? Whatever the changes you want to do, do them. And finally, you will go to index, right click over here and there is an option update index and tuple. Click on that and you can see advanced was added. Want to make some changes here, like I want to add some more over here, like I want this as 3 again, this one also as heading 3. So, this is setting a default template and resetting the default template, they must not be there, right? In my index, can you see them? It's not there. So, I have applied setting uh, heading 3 again, I have to update it. So, right click and update, and there you have setting a default template and resetting the default template. So modification is easier in writer. Let's see the other options. These are not enabled. So we do not have to do them as such. We have done this. Uh, this is also not applied over here. Deleting the index. If I click on that, it will be deleted. So before I delete this index, let's do this one. Edit, index and table. Under this, we have five tasks. One, two, three, four, five. The first one is index and table. Over here, the title is table of content. 
you can see this is the one so if you want to write something else over here like i want to write index itself i can write that okay and just click on okay it will be changed next one is protect against manual changes if this is selected it means you cannot make changes in your index this error if you want to make same changes then you have to uncheck that checkbox so let's uncheck it and some make some changes here like i want to add some dots here so it's possible so it's better to make sure that you are enabling this option the next one is you want to create the index for the entire document yes i want then we have uh, this one additional style now what is this additional style right now my index is based on only three heading levels heading one two and three what if if i apply any other heading from this like let's say i just want to apply this one i want to change i want to apply not heading three but content one same here content one so will it be reflected in the index let's see and update the index right click on your index and choose the option update index is it reflected no it's not moreover it disappeared why because it's recognizing only heading level 1 2 and 3 not content 1 or any other like if i select one of the text it is not understanding content 1 2 3 default or any other you have to include these styles okay so let's include them you will go to edit index in table under style additional style you will go to this these three dots click on these three dots and here which of the style that you have applied right i have applied content 1 so i select that style and then where i want to apply it it was applied to i guess uh, heading 3 so I, this is heading 3 this is the heading 3 i have to move it i have to move my content under this column heading 3 for moving it i have these arrows now content 1 2 3 4 right suppose i do not want it in the fourth so back content 3 click on okay and there you have setting a default template and resetting a the default template i hope this is clear to you we have done this now let's we are see the background now if i want to apply any other color other than the, other than this uh, grayish color i can do that and if you want to in, insert the image you will choose graphic once you select your picture click on okay and there you got the image But it's not that this was one. I'm not going to take this image over here. Uh, if you do not want any color, select no fill. It will again take the grayish color. But if you do not want that as well, what you can do is again take the white color, and that's it. Okay. This is how you can make it totally colorless. Next is columns. Now. index is having only one column what if i want to use uh, the full page and i want my index to appear in the two columns i can do that it could be three or we can try with any other options so if i want to divide it into two columns i can uh, differentiate between the two with the proper line and just click okay and this is how your index will appear so let's again bring back to one column Now the next one is styles. See, we have ten heading levels. Remember that in Writer, we can make changes. Like for con level one refers to content one, two level two content two, and so on. So if I want to make changes, what you can do? Select this one and which style you want? Select that and then click on this arrow. Now there will be changes here. Click on OK. and you may see the change now if you want to change the color let's make some more changes here i want to color level heading 1 so i select this 
So make sure that you click on this and this and then you'll go to edit option. You may choose the color that you want. Just click OK. And here you can apply the color. Now let's apply the color to the setting head, second heading level 2. So over here again I'll go to style and select this one. And uh, let's say for content 2, I want content 2 itself but I want to add color. That's it. I do not want any other heading style but I want the same style and I want to color like this okay so you can see that all heading 2 are now colored similarly you can add the color for heading 3 let's uh, add the color to your whole index so for that you can go to background, you may choose the color that you want. So this is how it will look like. Right, now let's move to the another one. We have done background, we have done column, we have done styles. Now next one is entries. First of all we should understand what is it. See for example click on first chapter or if I click on unit 2 it won't take me to the second unit wherever it is in my document so there is nothing like any linking of that i can insert hyperlink so that if i click on chapter 2 it will directly take me to chapter 2 so that i can do with the help of our entry tab we have different uh, parameters over here for example this is for chapter number if i want to insert hyperlink on chapter number this is for entry, this is for tab stop, this is for the page number, like I can insert the hyperlink on the page number itself. So if I click on page number 2, it will move to the page 2 and so on. So let's uh, do it first of all with the chapter number. So we have two terminologies here, ls and le. ls stands for link start and le stand for link end okay so just observe how i am giving these two things over here first you left click over here and uh, then click on hyperlink you can see ls appears here then you click over here and again click on hyperlink so it is link ends here now click on ok and you can see that my chapter wise links has been created now if i want to add another link on the topics let's do that select this one and again click over here click over here click ok and now you can see that my subtopics also have a links if you want every topic or subtopic along with the chapter to have the link, what you can do is just click on all. So now each and every topic, subtopic, everything is having the hyperlink. But we can see that page numbers are not having the link. So how to add the link to the page? For this, you will select uh, page first this one right so again click over here before the page and click hyperlink then click here and insert hyperlink now click on ok and here I have the link with the page as well right so this is how we can create links to each and every element of our index right Now suppose uh, these are the tab stops like the dots are there I can change their rotation for example I can have hyphen over here so we can have hyphen remember these are also important e hash for chapter number e for entry t for tab stop and hash for page other than that we have ls link start and le link end so this is all for entry tab. we have been left with the last option which is to delete the index so if you want to delete the index just right click and delete the index so this is all about toc or table of content i hope uh, you have learned a lot 
with this video. In case you have doubt, comment in the comment section and I will get back to you. Till then, keep exploring and be awesome.